Howdy! In this video, I'll show you an easy way to avoid gimbal lock in an FK arm swing animation. The plugins I'll be using are CD Character Bundle Pro and CD Transfer Tools. I'll also be using my free CD HPB View plugin, which will display visual guides showing the heading, pitch, and bank rotation axes in the viewport. You can download that plugin from my website. If you go to the plugins page and scroll down to where it says free plugins and click here and then select HPB view and download the appropriate uh, version. Before we get started, it's important to understand the behavior of HPB rotations in Cinema 4D. There are three basic rules of HPB rotation and those rules are bank rotations will always be around the object's z-axis. Heading rotations will always be around the parent's y-axis. If the object has no parent object then the world is its parent and the rotation will be around the world's y-axis. Pitch rotations will always be around a vector that is perpendicular to the plane in which both the parent's y-axis and the object's z-axis reside. So let's illustrate this with a simple example. I'll add a null object and then I'll add a CD HPB view tag to it and let's uh, increase the guides there about like so. Okay now let's look at rule number one. Bank rotations will always be around the object's z-axis. Now this means that if I change the bank parameter the object will rotate around its z-axis and this will hold true no matter what the object's orientation is changing the bank parameter will always rotate the object around its z-axis. Uh, let's look at number two heading rotations will always be around the parent's y-axis. If the object has no parent object then the world is its parent and the rotation will be around the world's y-axis. Uh, in our simple example here the world is the null object's parent object and when we change the heading the object will rotate around the world's y-axis and this holds true also no matter how the object is oriented changing the heading parameter will always rotate the object around the world's y-axis or rather its parents y-axis and rule number three pitch rotations will always be around a vector that is perpendicular to the plane in which both the parent's y-axis and the object's z-axis reside. It sounds a little complicated, but when we look at our simple example, it becomes a little clearer. Uh, when we change the pitch rotation, we can see that the axis that the object is rotating around is 90 degrees to the world's y-axis and also 90 degrees to the object's z-axis. Now if we line the object's z-axis up with the world's y-axis you can see that it's rotating around a vector that is perpendicular to both the z and or the object's z-axis and the parent's y-axis and this also holds true no matter what the object's orientation is that if you line up the object's z-axis and the parent's y-axis the pitch rotation will be perpendicular to it. 
So why do the HPB rotations behave this way? Well, without getting into the mathematical equations of Euler angles, it's simply because that is the order in which each individual rotation is applied to the object when calculating its orientation. For example, uh, with our null object starting at zero, we first apply heading, then apply pitch, and then apply bank. So what is gimbal lock? Well, according to Wikipedia, gimbal lock is the loss of one degree of freedom in a three-dimensional three gimbal mechanism that occurs when the axes of two of the three gimbals are driven into a parallel configuration, locking the system into rotation in a degenerate two-dimensional space. So what does that mean? Well, in HPB rotations, that means that when the pitch is rotated 90 degrees, the heading and the bank rotation vectors become parallel. And when we rotate the heading, it has the same effect as rotating the bank. So what's the problem? Well, the problem isn't really the state of gimbal lock itself. The problem is the Euler angle system of rotations, which has the issue known as aliasing when interpolating between two orientations. This basically causes the object to wobble when rotating between two animation keys. The wobbling isn't as noticeable when the pitch is closer to zero, but as the pitch approaches gimbal lock, the wobbling becomes much worse. For example, if we rotate the pitch 10 degrees and then set a couple of rotation keys, Uh, when we scrub through the timeline, the animation looks okay. But if you look closely at the object's y-axis, you can see that it is wobbling slightly. Now, if we rotate the pitch to 80 degrees, where it's approaching gimbal lock, and set a couple of keys and now when we scrub through the timeline we can see that wobbling is much worse. So the trick is to avoid approaching gimbal lock when animating an object thereby minimizing the wobble. Now let's take a look at our FK arm swing animation. You can see that we have quite a wobble in this animation. Uh, so let's add a CD HPB view tag to the controller so we can see what's going on. As we scrub through the timeline, we can see that we're approaching gimbal lock where the bank rotation vector is becoming parallel to the heading rotation vector. And this is because the heading rotates around the parent object's y-axis. So it's the parent's orientation which is the cause and we can fix that simply by reorienting the uh, parent object. Uh, to do that, I'm going to use the CD transfer axes command from the CD transfer tools. And what I'm going to do here is transfer the X to the Y. So it will effectively rotate the left scapula joint 90 degrees. Uh, this command will detect 
if the object has a CD aim constraint on it and it will change the up vector. Uh, it will also detect if any child objects have any animation tracks and it will recalculate the animation keys so that we don't lose our animation. So I'm going to click OK and you can see that now the heading vector is pointing out behind the character and as we scrub through the animation we're not approaching gimbal lock so we have a much smoother animation. Now since the left scapula joint is part of the skinning we've kinda messed up our shoulder here but we can easily fix that by turning off animation and then going to the CD bind pose tag, restore the bind pose, and then scroll down to the CD skin tag and click unbind skin and then bind skin and then turn the animation back on and there we have our fixed uh, FK arm swing animation. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful in understanding HPB rotation animation in Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Adios.